Hi everyone! Welcome back to the D Hard House. My name is Alicia and in this video we're going to pick a winner for the giveaway. That's right, it's mid-October so it's time to pick a winner. So, uh, what I'm going to do is choose a random comment on the last video, which was the September Makes video, and that person will win the project bag. Uh, but before we do that, I thought I would take you on a tour of the garden, just so you can see what's been going on out there. It's mid-October, so I've got fall crops out in the garden, and I just want to give you a little tour before we announce the winner, so stick around. Oh my goodness, there's a plane flying overhead, up in the clouds, <laughs> and here's Marjorie. Marjorie has her ball, yes! I know, so it's mid-October, the grass is super green because we had a lot of rain. I think I talked about it in the September Makes video. Lots of rain, so all of this grass was crispy brown and it is now just lush and green and honestly could use another trim, so that'll have to happen. Okay, so I've got a couple of garden beds here. I have a bed going all along the fence on this side of the yard. I have compost pile in the back, a bed going all the way across this fence, plus this bed uh, that Michael made for me uh, with a trellis. So I had pumpkins and cucumbers growing there, but they've all come out since then. Um, so we did have a first frost uh, between, yeah, it was, oh, it was, it was Monday. It was a week ago, honestly. Um, we had our first frost. I don't know if it really got all the way down to freezing, but all the grass had frost on it. Um, I have squash plants, which I'll show you, uh, got hit with the frost and... I don't think they're gonna make it. Uh, but I did cover the, the crops I have most recently put in, which are my lettuce, kale, broccoli, cabbage, those things. So they look great. <laughs> so let me show you uh, what's going on. So in these two beds here, you can see the places with um, mulch are where I've put down new plants. So as I'm putting in new crops, I'm putting in the mulch. So if we start over here, I've got a couple of pepper plants that I'm, I'm hoping the peppers will ripen up a bit and then those will, those will get ripped out. But uh, my peppers didn't do very well this year. First time growing peppers, it was pretty pitiful, but you know, it's a learning process. So I have lettuce all along here. I have, <laughs> way too many less plants for me to eat it all, but whatever. I like growing things. Um, I have cabbage here. I think maybe six cabbage plants. And then I have broccoli uh, over here. Uh, four or five broccoli plants. Um, I've got spinach in the back over here. Spinach looks pretty good. Although something came along and started munching on my spinach, so I gotta manage that. And then I have kale, some kale plants here. And then today, this morning, um, because there's no rain today, yay, I just put in garlic all along here. So I've got 70 cloves of soft neck and then 12 cloves of hard neck. Um, and I thought I'd just do a line all along here. So that's really fun. A um, couple basil plants there. I'm just seeing how long they last. I don't imagine much longer. The leaves are turning brown and, and light yellow. Um, but I, I just want to see how long they'll last. I got what I wanted off that plant. I still have some crops over here going. Uh, I got a couple carrots. I've got uh, some radishes in the pot I really need to take out. This is, so these plants here were put in last year. 
So we moved here a year ago into this home. The cabbage went in, the kale went in, and the Brussels sprouts went in um, in early spring. Um, but some of these were carried over from our last home. So um, I've just been letting these grow. I have no idea. I was hoping that Brussels sprouts and things would would grow in the spring, but they just didn't. So maybe this will give me something this fall, winter. The kale is great. Um, I'm In fact, I need to make some soup today, so I'll come out and get some kale. And then my last head of cabbage, I think I only had two that really made it. Um, and I'm making egg rolls. <laughs> egg rolls out of those. I've got my volunteer tomato plants back there. Um, I should really just tear those out. The frost did a number on those too. <laughs> so let me take you over to the other side. So I have put in a whole bunch of squash plants back here and you can see they're not doing so hot. Um, that frost came in and really just really just destroyed these leaves. Um, I don't have enough cloth to cover all of my garden beds and I thought they would fare uh, better than this. Honestly the nightly forecast was 35 degrees um, and I'd covered the lettuce as a precaution and now I'm really glad that I did but uh, but yeah, so this is winter squash all in here. So those five plants are pretty much goners. Uh, the snow peas are great, but they they can do well in the cooler weather. So snow peas are good. Um, this is zucchini. Yep. Nope. I don't think I don't think it's gonna recover. Um, so there's a bed of zucchini gone, and here's some more snow peas. Like I said, they're doing great. I did try to do some succession cropping, so um, these peas went in, and then a couple weeks later, these went in, uh, just trying to space out my my harvest, make it last a little longer. Um, and then in here, summer squash, and they're so, <laughs> so not gonna make it. <laughs> summer squash. And then here are some pepper plants, like I said. I'm waiting for, um, I'm hoping these, there's a jalapeno, I'm hoping it just grows a little bit more, um, and some cayenne, uh, and more carrots, more carrots to take out. Banana peppers, uh, I just, I just have a couple more left here again. I'm just hoping they get a little bit bigger, and then I'll rip all this out. More carrots green beans as you can see those are those are ready to come out um, but I'm growing these beans Woo! <laughs> grasshopper I'm growing these beans uh, for the seeds so I'm gonna let these plants um, put as much energy into those seeds as possible and let them die off on their own so yep that's the state of the garden this bed has been all cleared out. Um, I had pumpkins, those have come in. Cucumbers, those have come in. And the cantaloupe, um, that frost, right? So I just brought in what we have. They're really small, but tasty. I just wanted to show you, we got so much uh, winter squash from, I had one winter squash plant. And it's, it's root system actually found its way. I had the compost bin closer to the garden. So this plant found its way to the compost bin and gave me 24 plus of these acorn squash. So <laughs> I made a little flower design out of them here with the pumpkins. <laughs> but yeah, we've got lots of squash. Um, here's the uh, cantaloupe. You can see they're very small palm of the hand kind of thing uh, but the frost wiped out the leaves there was no way it was going to grow anymore so we're just eating little mini cantaloupes uh, more tomatoes 
yeah, all the great stuff. So, a uh, reminder, this giveaway is for a sweater size project bag. Uh, it is Thanksgiving themed, so, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I have pumpkins from my garden. I have squash, no gourds. I didn't grow gourds. I don't know what to do with gourds. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I guess pumpkins are the only thing on here. Uh, but it is a sweater size bag. It has a zipper, it's lined uh, with polka dots and has a clear pocket. So let's find out who is going to win this bag. Okay, so we are drawing a winner from the comments on the September Makes video. So I grabbed the URL and brought it over here to the random comment picker. So we've got six comments and we're going to find a random winner. There we go. I love watching this. So C Herring is the winner. Uh, and this person commented, uh, we celebrate our wedding anniversary in October. Oh, that's so nice. And then Halloween is all about trick-or-treating and rushing home to a lovely crock pot full of chili ready to eat when we're done. Oh, you know, I never thought of having a hot meal ready after trick-or-treating. What a great idea. Oh my goodness. Okay, so C. Herring, please email me your mailing address. So I have that. Um, my email address is down below in the description. So email me your mailing address so that I can get this prize to you. So thank you everyone who commented on the video and participated in the giveaway. I really appreciate it. Uh, and again, the winner, go ahead and send me an email so that I can get your mailing address and ship this out to you. So uh, just a heads up, this is a new monthly thing we're doing here on the channel. So when I make a video about all the things I made that month, I'm going to give something away. <laughs> Uh, it's been bags the last couple of months, but it could be other things as well. So stick around, um, make sure to check in on those monthly videos, uh, and have a chance to win something. So thanks for coming along with me in the garden, and I will see you next time. Take care, stay healthy, stay safe, and enjoy your crafts, whatever they may be. Bye.